If one more label try to stop me, it's gonna be some dreadhead niggas in your lobby. So, hello, uh, my name is Stefan, I'm head of product of my manufacturer. This is a personal video and I will be telling you my teams and my experience with the uh, 3E3D Nano Plus. Uh, well, let's start. I'm not a conventional engineer, I'm a maker. Uh, my background is design, is graphic design, so I'm not like the traditional engineer slash maker. Uh, so I guess my, my approach to the printer has been quite different. I focus more on user experience and user design and I'm not going to focus that much in the technical aspects. I'm going to show you the, the process of how will an end user, an end adopter, an end, uh, end technological adopter will use your printer and, and its main opinion and mental mainframe of him. Uh, but I won't be talking too much about the technical specs. So this one, this one, this was the packaging we got. It's a beautiful packaging. It's minimalistic. You could do a. It's a beautiful product shot. I can see this is a render, so maybe in the future you can replace it for something printer. Uh, it comes in white and orange. It's a good selection, and I believe that the most important thing about this printer is that it's friendly. Because if you see some of the other printers we have in the workshop, they're very, very, very scary. And kids will like to have a more dynamic, more playful, more friendly relationship with their printers. You can see this in the evolution of hardware with uh, video game, video game consoles. Uh, minimalistic, to the point, doesn't say too much. Um, it, it pretty much says what it needs to say. The millimeters, this is perfect because you can go into the slicer. Uh, the pro parameters, again, for me, this is not quite important. I just use this information to introduce it in the, in the slicer to make the, to make the printer work. Uh, and this is a pretty nice infography. It's basic of for FDM printers. So that's pretty much for the packaging. Um, so what, what's happened, something that I really like, is very plug and print. It has just one cable and uh, one uh, flash drive. The cable, you just plug it. The flash drive, you just, you just plug it in. You're going to see pretty much how it goes. But one thing that I did different, differently for the slicer is I didn't use the slicer that the machine was supposed to be used with. Why? Because I didn't feel comfortable with it. Uh, it's not very user friendly. It doesn't have a lot of options. Uh, and I believe some other slicers can, can give us a different result, can give us a better result. Uh, reason why I use Cura. So if you check here, I was using this. This is going to be a, um, a private store premium object in my manufacturer by uh, Trison, which is um, a South American female designer. And I use Cura to slice the to slice the to slice the object. This is pretty much the the final form. Can you do like a zoom? This is pretty much. The final result. This is all of another one of, of her models, and as you can see, you can have like different different objects. Uh, again, just as I said, I wouldn't talk a lot about the technical aspects of this printer. Some things I really like is very plug and print. It only has three variables: the pen drive, the flash micro card in the back end, and one button. I think this is absolutely perfect, absolutely smart. Uh, but then. Let's talk about some things that could improve. Uh, it's very hard to have a optimal bed leveling. And if this machine is meant for kids, it's going to be quite hard every time they print to adjust the bed manually. Uh, this is something that, for example, the Ob Mini 2 from Tier Time makes perfectly, making uh, the bed leveling and the adjustments automatically. So this, is, this was quite annoying and if someone like me who has been working in 3D printing for a year plus or maybe another engineer had like uh, uncomfortable experience uh, having, having prints failing because of the leveling. I believe if you're meanting this machine to be for kids, uh, that could be a, a problem for the user adoption. That's pretty much it. printer for, for children if they have the supervision of someone who already has experience in 3D printing. Because as you can see, some of the more early adopted printers like the Ender 3, the Thunder, the BQ Thunder, or some of the Tier Time Up Mini, 
most of them, design-wise, hardware-wise, they're very, very scary. They're more uh, engineering-ish focused. Uh, so this printer has a very, very good hardware design. It's not threatening, it's very friendly. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I will say it's a, very, it's, a, it's a very good step towards early adoption for the new market, which is kids who, in terms of today, are between 15 million with access to 3D printer in their schools. Uh, most of them are maker bots, but I believe this is a good contender for them and it's a good way to, to continue 3D printer at home. So, let's talk about the quality. Some of the printers, some of the, some of the prints have very high quality, but they take a long time to, to print. In this case, you can see a very good relationship between money and value and time, but it still has some, let's say, some, uh, some things that the, how do you say, the layer height could be, could be way better because in other printers like the Sindo or the Upbox, you can find that the relationship between very, very small layer heights doesn't damage the extrusion of the material. In this case, if you put a very, very low uh, layer height, the, the print will get, will get a bit distortioned. Uh, but again, it's a beautiful way to print. It's a good machine. Um, and that's pretty much it. Hope you like So, some recommendations for the next updates. Uh, the printer doesn't have any fumes. It's very silent. That's, be that's very good to have in your living room or your kids' room. It's very trustable. The design is not threatening. But for next, the next editions, I will try to make the bed leveling and uh, pretty much the management of the, of the height between the extruder and the bed automatic. This will be a huge improvement. Believe me, it will be a huge improvement. Second, although the, the micro USB 2.0 and the micro card that come into, inside, the, inside the cardboard box are very, very useful, I will advise you to maybe partner up with, with my manufacturing to install click and print. This will be, this will be huge, eliminating um, the slicing from the process or I will try to walk towards a system of Wi-Fi connection. Why? Because the less you slice, the less time you spend slicing, the more time the printer spends printing and the more consumption you will have. And the more consumption you will have, the more you position yourself in the mind of your, cost in your customers. And it's highly possible that they will buy your printers in the future once you update them. And well, they will buy more, more filament. Um, the quality is good, I will give it a solid 4 out of 5 for price, value over, over quality and I hope that you like the video and we can keep doing these quite honest reviews on your printers.